Alright everyone, she got Hogan here reporting for the festival. So, today we are going to drive this particular car. This is the latest addition to Forza Horizon 4. This is the Toyota Celica GT4. Uh, I forgot the specific one, but this is the later model. And well, I've been really, I've been waiting for this particular car, well, the particular line, because both of, there are two versions of Celica that will be coming this month. One of them is this one. It's already come. You can get it right here, right now, on this week, through festival playlist. And yeah, I've been waiting for so long after they started announcing Toyota is coming back. And well, this is actually my favorite car lineup aside from the Corolla. Because, well, come on, it's a Celica. Everyone loves it. So, right, this particular livery right here that I'm using is created by Kamikaze SSSS. Yeah, it's 4S. And it's based on coconut from Nekopara. Uh, Nekopara is, well,. Uh, how do I explain this? <laughs> uh, according to the internet, it's actually a visual novel, which, well, R18, yeah, rated 18, so it's actually for adult. And uh, I don't have the game yet, I don't know if I will buy it, but I do know my friend have it, because, well, he can. <laughs> So, yeah, this is Coconut, one of the cats. Yes, they are act an actual cats, just in the form of girl. So, I don't think I'll play it because, so well, it's a visual novel. I don't usually play usual visual novel. I, I did play it, play, no, play visual novel once, but, well, twice actually because it's x blaze There are two versions of it, but that's about it. So... Let's have a quick look around the car here. So, right here we have coconut on the hood. There are two variants of it. One is, well, the proportional version of it, which is really good. And the other one is, oh, the blurry one right here is actually the chibi version. Unfortunately, it's really blurry sometimes in this game if you don't make it specifically directly on the car, but it's kind of problematic so we have a bunch of sponsors here as usual including the same pictures from the hood which is the coconut here yeah her name is coconut so nk good smell company model alter what is that aquamarine i'm not sure zenrin yokohama and i can't believe i didn't use yokohama tire <laughs> right now uh, yeah, a bunch of sponsors here and there. Some of them are kind of hard to look at because it blends in with the maid outfit that she's wearing. And then another chibi coconut here. And on the rear we have the bigger chibi coconut. Of course, it says GT4 Celica on the badge. I like how the cat paw marks is right under the Toyota's emblem. That's pretty cute, actually. <laughs> then some more here, just mirrored, except for the sponsor. They are exactly mirrored, because if you just mirror it, it will be mirrored completely. And on top, we have a bunch of cat paw and some small cats around the sides here, as you can see there. Really nice detail, actually. And if you notice, yes, I'm using a custom body kit. Because, well, I just like this double spoiler setup here. <laughs> it's kind of cool, not gonna lie. I mean, yeah, it's not the best thing that you can have, but uh, I do like it. So, anyway, the rain is over, so today we're going to race on the Goliath. Not the Goliath, the Gauntlet. The Gauntlet is for the street race. No, the, the Goliath is for... what is it? The normal street race, not the street street race. 
it's kind of hard to tell but yeah we're going to do the gauntlet it's been such a long time so i don't know the exact route <laughs> and we're going to race against a bunch of uh classic uh no not classic retro rally so we're going to fight something like sport quattro here from audi uh for escort as rs uh, lancia bunch of them uh mitsubishi and stuff like that yeah. But yeah, I'm going to use the Celica GT4 ST205. This is from 1994. And well, you probably already know this, but the car is actually pretty slow. If you have seen Isaac at driving, demonstrating it, comparing it, well, obviously with the most meta car because he's pretty competitive, actually. <coughs> the car is two seconds slower than the meta car. I don't remember what car the meta for A-Class uh rally race but i don't really care about meta to be honest i just want to see if this car is nice or not and well to be honest i already tested multiple times it's pretty nice i set the brake wires toward the rear so it can oversteer a bit more when i'm braking like this because well well it's true you want to be as smooth as possible in dirt, this car is actually pretty understeery when you get uh, when you get it after you tune it up a little bit. So you may want to have that brake bias. And as you can see, it works pretty well. So there, there is always exception like the sharpest turn that you can have around. You may want to still use the handbrakes. I set it up for 65%. Maybe I should share the tune if in case you're interested to try it out. So yeah, I mean well the car isn't that bad, but it's not the fastest, that's for sure. And acceleration wise, not the best either. Oh wow, I just hit that mid air. <laughs> Cannot stop that. But the car is Pretty decent, at least. I mean, well, it won't have the the best acceleration and it won't have the best speed for the class, but it does handles really well. And then again, having more handling is fine because you still you still can control it. It's better to have more control than to have more speed when, and you cannot control it, right? But then again, my driving isn't the best as well, so you know. Oh, I forgot there is this part right here on the mud kickers. Come on, I really don't like this part right here. This is not for rally car. But yeah, on corner, this car is pretty good. I really like the handling of it. And well, there is another problem when it comes to water, deep water like that. Yeah, it will slow down tremendously. Car is pretty light. That's why it's it can have a lot of horsepower. It it's, it's too light for its class, around one thousand two hundred kilograms. So not the lightest, but it's not. It's still way too light for the class. I believe you want to have more horsepower, uh, like around 300 horsepower, you you may need more weight. Oh no, understeer. Oh uh, yeah, fast corner like that is its weakness, I guess. I need to throw it out a little bit to go on to oversteer. And yes, it. I set the gearing pretty long. Oh no, I, I break too late there. That was bad driving for me, obviously. But well, it, it handles pretty well. That's all you need to know. Just turn it up as... Just 
just make sure you can drive properly. J just don't be like me. I mean, I'm pretty rusty at this point because it's been quite some time since I play rally uh, match on this game. Well, rally in general, actually, because I don't even play the rally at this point. Um, right. Yeah, but the handling, man, it's good. So, right. This is some twisty part that I kind of like, actually. So I have to be careful around here. Because there is some deep water, and well, it's a pretty fast corner. You may want to give it a little bit more of a steer if you want to keep in the line. Or just don't go too deep as well. <laughs> And about the differential that I set up for this car, it actually has 30% deceleration and acceleration for the front. Okay, give it a tap on the handbrakes. Oh, this is way too tight. But it's alright, we're good. And well, we're losing ground again because it's straight line. It's alright though. The other cars are really f quite far behind right now. And... Yeah, need to give enough brakes around there if you want to turn, obviously, because high-speed corner is the weakness of this car, I feel. Because more than that, it feels like it's understeering. At least that's how it feels for me. Maybe, yeah, I mean, it's probably my driving, but... Other than that, it's it do really well. Yeah, if there's something wrong with this car, it's probably my driving. Yeah, like that. That was really terrible. <laughs> I'm trying to force myself to keep it on full throttle, but it doesn't work as well as I thought it would be. Okay, keep it on third gear around here. I give it a little bit brakes there because. It took a slow around there. Yeah, around corner, it is as long as if you're driving well. Around corner, it it does its job, and it's and it and you can handle it pretty nicely around sharper corner. That's for sure. But well, you still have to significantly slow down your car if you. Want to make a corner? Ah, that was still too fast. Need to downshift one more gear on there, actually. Oh well. Um, yeah, now I'm kind of hesitant to drive the car, and now I'm driving terribly. Oh, sorry about that. Alright, the windy corner around here is... Oh... Right. <laughs> Let's try not to do that again. <laughs> the windy corner around this particular area is kinda nice. Oh no, I went too fast. Damn it. Yeah, I could just try to let off the gas and let the car turn. And I'll shift a little bit. Okay, uh, I don't think I could catch up with them around this particular part because it's tarmac. Yeah, oh, this escort is keeping up really well on my tail. Yeah, I mean, the easier indicator if you want to see whether the car is competitive or not on the online race, usually how much it struggles for a car to get into the top position against the AI because well obviously you can always beat them even in unbeatable oh okay but well 
the fact that you need to put a, well to put a lot of effort just to get into the top position when you're fighting against an AI usually it means that it won't be even competitive against other player. I mean, this is one of the example. And I'm trying to cut off all as much corner as possible, but that was a little too much, I guess. Okay, that water is still okay. But yeah, we can catch up around the dirt party area against the AI, but then again, only catching up doesn't mean you will get a victory, right? Alright, this here is some deep water. Downshift to third. Maybe second actually. No, it's only third. And yes, I don't even use brake on that one because the car is pretty slow around that area at that point. You, you can just stand up the throttle and let the car turn by itself. And there we go. Yeah, not the best car, that's for sure, but I still do love the looks of it. I mean, I saw this on my local area once, which is really surprised me, because, well, this car never, never been in my place before, as far as I'm aware. Alright, 10 minutes, 9 seconds, pretty bad. <laughs> uh, well, at least it's not the worst car that you can drive. You still can, you still can have fun with this at, at the very least if you don't think about competitiveness. But well, if you think about comp competitive car, yeah, just forget about it. It won't get you the best podium online. 